Hey guys, I have been spending lots of time talking to examiners and reading examiners reports and there are lots and lots of interesting things that I have been finding out. Now I've been sharing loads and loads of them with you and today we're going to talk about those equations that we come across in maths and in science. Now there is no fixed way to deal with an equation question. Where you have the equation, you have to get the numbers from the question, put the numbers in and then work out the answer. There is no standard way the exam board expects you to do it. But there is one way that is slightly easier and one way that is slightly more likely to get you marks. Now, when you have an equation and you need to put numbers into it and work out the answer, you can either substitute the numbers into the equation first and then rearrange and work out the answer, or you can rearrange the equation, put the numbers in, and then work out the answer. So two different ways of doing it. However, if you substitute numbers into the equation first, you are less likely to make mistakes. Then you can rearrange what you've got. Rearranging equations is a harder skill than substituting numbers into the equation, so that's where you're more likely to make mistakes. If the examiner can see what you've done before you've made a mistake, then there's a chance the examiner can give you marks for it. So, put numbers into the equation first and then rearrange the equation. Rearranging the equation first, you might make a mistake, then when you put numbers in, you've already made the mistake and you've already lost your marks. However, if you put the numbers into the equation first, you might pick up marks for doing that, and then you can rearrange it, and if you make a mistake in rearranging it, well at least you picked up some of the marks. So, when in maths or in science you have an equation, lots of lots of wordy questions, pull out the numbers, Put the numbers into the equation first and then rearrange it. You are less likely to make mistakes this way and the less mistakes you make the more marks you're likely to pick up in the exam.